Hi, I'm Florian van Hem Kohler. Hi, I'm Tarek Ibeda. Today we're going to show you a couple, three rail kicking systems. One is going to be visual, the second one is going to have a lot of formulas and number. Pretty tricky, but once again, you know, if you master them, it can get you out of a tricky situation. First method here is more of a visual system than a mathematical system. Um, however, it works pretty good in some instances. So first, you got to find the standard way to scratch three rails. So we're going to try to scratch in this corner here. And we're going to go three rail, long rail here, short rail there, long rail there to scratch here. So in, in, in any perfect world, in a perfect table, in perfect condition, technically, if you go here with running English from where Valor stands with the cue ball there, into this diamond there, on the third one, contrary to popular belief, this is not the standard way to hit three rail. This would be the perfect way. This would go here, there, there, and land straight in the corner. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test the table, see if the table plays long or short. Meaning if you play short, the cue ball is gonna land here. If it plays long, the cue ball is gonna land there. Okay, so now Valerie is gonna try to just scratch, aiming to this diamond here first. See what happened with the cue ball. Okay, so we see the cue ball here is about a full diamond short, if not more. So that means we're gonna take that in consideration. So what she's gonna do, she's gonna get higher, aim higher, so probably about the second diamond this time. And we'll see what happened. Still trying to scratch. It's looking good. And we got a perfect scratch here. Okay, now that Valerie found the perfect scratching point, I'm gonna hand the ball back to her. And uh, so we're gonna basically draw a line from that diamond here, wherever she found it, into the center of the ball out there. And we're gonna extend that line into the rest of the room. So I think what's in line with this, the, po the pocket, the diamond end, is that neon blue post out there. So the left side of it. And we're just gonna take this point as, you know, as our aiming point now. So we're not even gonna look on the rail. She's gonna do the same thing, but aim at the neon out there and scratch again. Now that you have the spot on the wall, the beauty of the system is anywhere the cue ball is, you can reuse the same spot to make the three rail. When I say anywhere on the table, meaning if your cue ball is somewhere here, up to probably about here, between the side pocket and the corner there. Anything after there, of course, doesn't work because you can't go three rail. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we have three balls. They are gonna be pretending cue balls, the one, the two, and the three. And Valerie is gonna shoot them every time three rail, aiming the same spot on the wall out there and making the four ball. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what happened there. Perfect. And that's how you execute a proper three rail with the system always aiming the same spot on the wall. So as you can see, anywhere the ball was, it worked. Great system, great visual. As long as you find your spot, you'll always be pretty close to make the three rail kick. Let's talk about the mathematical system now. So before we go any further, sort of a disclaimer, this is a very complex system very hard to understand, very hard to remember. Uh, so it's not uncommon that even pros don't know anything about it. So, you know, before you feel bad or you, you know, you try to really go dive deep into it, if you don't play a lot of hours, kind of don't think about it. I mean, the visual one will work great for you. That being said, this system is absolutely great, very efficient, very accurate, and works all around the table. So there's pretty much no limits. This is a system we use a lot in, in three cushion and, uh, you know, the best three cushion player, they all know this. Um, you know, every on the table and all the adjustment possible. So let's start with the system by itself. So it's basically composed of a formula. The formula is departure minus arrival equal aiming points. The departure is gonna be in this way, before we go any further, this is gonna be our shot. So long rail here, short rail there, long rail there, into the one ball, okay? I'm gonna try to find first my departure point. The departure is gonna be somewhere on here to there. Personally, I use the number 50, but I know some people use the five, and which is also why we call that system the corner five. 
but I'm gonna call this corner here 50, okay? So you're just gonna have to remember the value, this is 50. It goes 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. And really not much needed out there because it's pretty much never been used. So it goes by increments of five up there. Now it's still the departure rails. However, this one goes by 10. So this goes 60, 70 here, and now it goes 80, 90, okay? So we're not here to really discuss why, but it's basically because the table plays short or longer at some part of the table and depending the rails. Once again, this system works great on three cushion heated table. On some pool table, they play short. It's always a little more difficult to adjust. Now we have the departure point. We gotta talk about arrival. Arrival is the next part in the formula. Arrival is gonna go from the one ball. Now, you would think it would go on these rails, however, it does not. The arrival is taken from the last trail the cue ball hits facing the object ball you're trying to hit. So this is our arrival rail, okay? So this one goes 10, 20, 30, 40, and because again, the table plays a little different, this is gonna be 50, 60, 70, 80, okay? Now from there, there's one thing I cannot really teach you is you have to remember the line. So we know that line, the 20 goes here and kind of extend to the corner. The 30 goes here, extend to this diamond. The 10 goes here, extend to this diamond. And technically right next to the pocket, extend to the zero here, okay? So it goes of course all the way down there. You can see in the graphic. Now you've determined your arrival point. So we said already the cue ball is in 50 because it's in the corner. Object ball, arrival in 20, okay? So the formula is departure minus arrival, 50 minus 20 equals 30. So this is my aiming rail, aiming point as well. It goes by increments of 10, so zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc., etc. okay? Again, we invite you to look at the diagram for much, you know, it's easier to understand. Departure minus arrival, 50, minus 20 equals 30. In a perfect table, in a perfect world with a perfect stroke, aiming at the 30, you are guaranteed to go and make the one ball. So we're gonna try that and we're gonna see what the table give us. Always running English. There we go. So we know the table plays quite short. So I didn't miss it by much, but I missed it by at least half a diamond, okay? So we know this is basically, a diamond is about 10. So we know this is a five. So here's what I'm gonna do in my formula to adjust it. I'm gonna go exactly at the same spot. So we know the formula is 50 minus 20 equals 30. Now I'm gonna do minus five. And that's just to account for the table being playing short. Now if a table plays long, you do plus five. If the table plays normal, you don't do anything. You just keep it there. Now we know the table plays short. So I'm gonna do minus five. So 30 minus five, 25. Remember, zero, 10, 20, 25. So this is a half out there, and we're gonna see what happened. Again, remember, it's gotta be a constant stroke, always good. Okay, so I hit the ball, didn't quite make it, I didn't set it up perfectly, but we know it's pretty good. So now we have pretty much the basics of the system. We know the departure, we know the arrival, and we know the adjustment for the table. Now that we sort of know the basic the premise of the system, it's important to know that this sort of works from everywhere on the table, as long as you're looking for a three rail. So I just move the ball anywhere I want to do. So pretty much if I'm here shooting there or here and the cue ball is still somewhere there, I can still make the three rail, okay? So now let's calculate from the cue ball just laying where you just did. Okay, so again, we know the arrival already. So arrival is here, 20. Now the important part is I got to find my departure, okay? So we're gonna kinda do guesswork from up there to find where the cue ball lays. So we're gonna go from here. We know that if the cue ball was here, that would be 50 minus 20 equal to 30. You know, the cue ball is not under the line of the cue, okay? Now remember, it goes 45. 45 minus 20, 25. The cue ball is still not under. Let's try 40. 40 minus 20, 20. Look at that, this time it's pretty close. The cue ball is almost under the cue, which is the line of it. Now we know the cue ball is not quite there yet. So I'm gonna try another one. Let's do 35. 35 minus 20 is 15. The cue ball is not there. So obviously the closest point I have is 45, 40, okay? So the cue ball is almost in 40, but not quite here. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be 42 by moving it this way. Obviously, you know, it goes by increments, so it's pretty easy to do. So the ID would be 42 minus 20, 22. Again, we know the table plays short by five, 22 minus five, 17. So if I aim 17, which is about right there, always running English, because I'm a little closer to the rail, I'm gonna take some off a little bit. I should be right here and make the one ball. There we go. Okay, so there was one example. We're just gonna put the cue ball somewhere else, actually, you know, exactly where it lays out. So let's move it a little bit right there. So it's right on the cross, easy to see. One ball again there, and we're gonna do the same thing, another three rails. So obviously here, ball is a little different, not high up, but more low. So we're gonna start from the corner again. So 50, we know the arrival is still 20, 50 minus 20, 30, right there, okay? So it's obviously not there. Now we're gonna move to here, this diamond, so 60, right? 60 minus 20, 40, look at that. If I imagine the diamond, which would be right here in the pocket pretty much, my cue ball is nearly there. I mean, it's close to perfection. So we could go ahead and call it actually 60, okay? Now I know the table plays short, so I'm gonna remove six, uh, five, so let's do this. 60 minus 20 is 40, 40 minus five is 35. That means if I aim the 45, which is right here, I should be able to make the one ball. Now in this case, it's pretty tricky because the corner of the side pocket is running my way, which would be right there. So we're probably just gonna have to aim a little higher and hope for the best. There we go. That's how you basically find where your cue ball is and calculate the exact point to land on the one ball. Now that we figured out the departure and where the cue ball can be moved, obviously the object ball is also gonna be moved somewhere because it's not always gonna be there. So this is where it gets a little tricky for the system, in my opinion, because there's some set of numbers that you're gonna kinda have to remember, a set of lines that you're gonna have to memorize. But again, this memorizing is gonna help you in the entire game later on too, so. Again, so we're gonna start from here. So we know this corner to here is the line zero. This diamond to here is the line 10, and this obviously to here is the 20, right? So we're looking at there, and the one ball is again pretty much in the 20. So what I'm gonna do is again in my formula, I'm just gonna take departure, which is in 50. 50 minus 20 equals 30, right? I'm gonna double check. My cue ball is right under the 30 line. Now we know the table plays short, so we're gonna do 30 minus five, 25. Let's try that. We're obviously spot on, okay? So that's the beauty of the system. Everything that's along the line, it doesn't matter if the two ball is here. I mean, if the one ball is here or here or here, as long as it's along that, that line, that 20 line, you will be able to hit the ball. Now, let's move the ball. Let's think it's, uh, let's pretend this ball is right here, okay? This is very difficult for people to sometimes understand where the ball would be. So again, you know, our cue ball is gonna be somewhere around 50. I'm not gonna touch that to make it easier. We're gonna try to find our object ball. So this would be the 20 line. Obviously the one is not under the line of the cue and the diamonds. Let's try 30. 30, the object ball is not under there. So let's try 25. 25 would be the half diamond to the half diamond. Boom, right there. The one ball is under that line of 25. So again, we're gonna do departure 50 minus arrival 25 equals 25. 25 minus five because the table plays short. We're right there at the second diamond. There we go. So obviously this was in 25, not a problem. I'm gonna do one last example for the arrival here. We're gonna put the ball right here. So that's a very common pull shot when you, know, you really can't do much and you have to really try to sort of hit the ball either to get out of safety or even try to make it. Uh, you know, if I know a lot of people watch Efren Reyes videos. This is pretty much the system Efren used, the two rail, the three rail, he uses those things. So that's how it helps you to really, you know, progress in your game. All right, so let's look at the system, the math here. Again, we're gonna still be in 50 along this line for the departure, the arrival now. So we know it's not 20 because 20 goes here. However, if we look at there, we know it's 10. 
So this ball is pretty much in 10. So again, we're gonna do 50 minus 10, 40. 40 is the corner, but lucky enough for us, the table plays short, so 40 minus five is 35, which is right there, so in between the half diamonds. So if I aim right in front of this, I'm gonna go here, one, two, three, and hopefully touch the one ball, and with best of luck, actually make it. Okay, I didn't quite make it, but I hit it almost perfect. And like you say, you know, right there. So um, really a very powerful system. And if you know how to calculate, you're really taking the guesswork out of it. And even if one day, you know, you feel like your formulas are kind of off or something, it still gives you a guide. And it, while instinct is important, this really gives you a true line to the perfect shot. All right, so we're back with Valerie here and she's gonna help us out to demonstrate the power of this mathematical system. So it, before we go any further, it's important to notice a couple things. This is the exact same example that we did with the visual system and onto my mathematical system. The examples were shooting the cue ball this way to that rail. So our departure were here and, ar and an arrival there. In this case, it's gonna be reversed, okay? So departure is gonna be those rails and arrival right here. So first the four ball. The four balls in the corner, so we know it's around 20, okay? So we know that, that's fine. Now let's try to find where the one ball is, which is the departure. So again, we're gonna start with the corner here. So this is 50, this is 60, this is 70, this is 80, this is 90, okay? So I'm gonna take a wild guess and pretend the cue ball is in 70, okay? So 70 is that diamond. So I'm gonna do 70 minus 20, remember, departure minus arrival, which is 20. So I'm gonna go here, uh, sorry, so yeah, 70 minus 20 is 50. So we're gonna go there, aiming is 10, 20, 30, 40, and the half is 50, right here. My cue ball is not in there. So again, remember the one ball is the cue ball. So let's try 80. 80 is right here, so 80 minus 20 is 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. My cue ball is not quite in there either. If you look at it, it is literally in between. So it's pretty obvious we're gonna have to shoot in between. So let's do 75. 75 minus 20, 55. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, and we are right on it. Now we know the table plays short, so remember to always subtract five, so that puts us at 50. That means if Valerie hits here, with the left spin, the running English, she will make the four ball. There you go, perfect shot. Okay, so let's keep going. Now, we're gonna have to try to find the two ball. So again, our, our variable is very known, it's 20, okay? We're gonna go here and try to find the departure of the two ball, which is our cue ball this time. So we're gonna start with 50. 50 minus 20, 30. The cue ball is not quite in there. Let's do 60. 60 minus 20, it's 40. The cue ball is not quite in there. So basically, if I go here, and there, we know we're right in between. So I'm gonna go again and I'm gonna guess 55. 55 minus 20, 35, right there. So we're very close this time, okay? So now we're gonna move a little bit and we're gonna do maybe 53. 53 minus 20, 33, we're right on it. Now again, remember the table plays short, remove five, 33 minus five, 28. If Valerie aims somewhere right here, she should be right on the one ball and make it. Perfect, okay. Let's keep going and let's do that one last ball, which is the three ball. Again, cue ball is our three ball. So arrival, still 20, still the pocket. But now this time we gotta find a departure, which is higher in the rail. So we know it's not 50, so let's try 45. 45 minus 20, 25. I'm gonna draw a line from here to the 25. Nothing there. Let's do 40. 40 minus 20, 20. I'm gonna draw a line from 20 there. And the cue ball is literally right under it, which means we are perfectly in there. Now again, the table plays short by five. So we're gonna do 20 minus five, which is 15. Remember zero, 10, 15, right here. So if she aims the half diamond there, 
Always running English. We should be right on, make the two. There you go, you have it. Again, the same three balls, but shot in a totally different way than the visual system we talked about. Again, this is up to you. You know, you're gonna have to decide which one's the best, which one you prefer. I believe the second one is more accurate, very useful on the whole table, but the first one could very well done the job pretty much the same. This was the three run cooking system. I hope it's gonna help you guys. So just go at the pool table and practice. Yeah, it's a very useful system. Takes a little bit to getting used to, especially the second one, but once you know it, absolutely priceless, and it'll be sure to leave you open and in the dust. As usual, any question, please comment below, let us know what you think, and for all your pool and building supply, please go check out pooldog.com.